Into India's sunshine come these refugee poles. Out of the darkness that four years ago this month, the Nazis brought down over the face of Poland. Hitler called these his enemies. The whip, the bomb and the lethal chamber are his weapons to destroy them. We in India call them our friends. Safety and a chance to live are our welcoming gifts. It's a war against babies, too. And the Polish consul knows, as he watches, what horrors that has meant for most of his countrymen. Well, they're safe now, and here and there, there's someone smiling. A little uncertainly, because they've got out of the habit of feeling happy. They're welcome, all of them, down to the twins that were born aboard the Mercy ship and are now safe with their parents on our shores. For the children, the first glimpse they get of our country is a rich education. To them, a friendly land is an abiding miracle. As the train arrives in the upcountry where they have their camp, there's a new look in their faces, a new lightness in their steps. Some of them are welcomed by family reunions that they never dare to hope for. But now, as they line up to listen to the camp commandant, they hear that there's plenty of room for hope and time to build a future for themselves. Time to grow proud again of their country and its flag, as we in India are proud of our tradition of welcoming the stranger. visit to our visitors, and Dr. Kari sees how the Poles in Kolhapur are making life orderly and pleasant once again, giving back to their children the chance of happiness Hitler wanted to take away from them. They all seem to be looking on the bright side of things, so let's do the same, and remember that at least the children who have come to India have seen a new country, got broader ideas. That may mean a lot in the future. The Nazis wanted to make every Pole a slave, dubbing their children as degenerate. Subhuman was the Nazis' favorite word. If such vileness requires a comment, these pictures of young Poland supply all that can ever be needed. In Karachi, Poles go to pray for the liberation of their country. Five years of war and all the news they've had from their homes was bad news. It's getting better now and it seems that soon Poland will be free of the Nazis. In Shakespeare's words, it is a consummation devoutly to be wished. Church and altar are both temporary, but the ceremonial has gone on unchanged through all Poland's unhappy history. Brought up in war, when the national costume was not these gay dresses, but the dungarees of Nazi labor battalions, these children hear that they need no longer fear slavery. No one again would call them, in Hitler's words, subhuman. 